this video blew up over YouTube the last few weeks. Rob Schneider, obviously famous comedian, really good friends with Chris Rock, lets loose on Will Smith after infamous slap. So this was only dropped like two weeks ago. He was on a show named Kyle and Jackie O. Never heard of the show before, but Rob Schneider apparently eviscerates stupid ass Will Smith. We call Will Simp. We call Will Smith Will Simp now, guys, because he was just simping for his wife. The dude is just a complete lame. But honestly, guys, I love to see Rob, Rob Schneider stick up for Chris Rock. They were in that movie Grown Ups together. They were in a bunch of movies together. They're like best friends, honestly. And Will Smith just, you know, I think a lot of people have turned against him now. He's kind of shown his true colors. But yeah, we're going to see what, exactly what he says, guys. Let me know what you think. And yeah, let's go, man. Let's hope Rob Schneider gives us some comedy. Did you ever speak to Chris Rock after the slap? Because uh, he's your mate. Yeah, yeah. I, I would have been straight on the phone if it was my mate getting No, but I was, I was in a sticky situation because I was actually, you know, an elected official of the union at the time. Oh. Will Smith is a twat. Oh, I liked him. He, Will Smith has been hiding the fact of who he really is, and it was exposed that night. And he's really an asshole. But he said, Damn, that's crazy. Like, that is crazy. I don't even think that. Hiding the fact of who he really is, and it was exposed that night. And he's really an asshole. He's a deep, dark thing. To do that in front of all those people, to a really great, legendary comedian, who's literally the best comedian of our generation. Sure. You wouldn't have, well, like... I, wouldn't, I don't know Do I agree with that. I think Chris Rock is an amazing comedian, probably top three or four, but I don't think he's the best ever, right? All right, but he's still phenomenal. But he is right, guys. To do that shit in front of all the people, that is insane. That's still probably the most insane thing I've seen on national TV, guys. Like, that's wild. And I've seen people shoot themselves on national TV. <laughs> so, Chris Rock, bro. Oh, man. Bro, they should do, like, um... That thing, power slap, they should have like a power slap competition. Dana White, hook it up. Legendary comedian, who's literally the best comedian of our generation. Sure. You wouldn't have like uh, this whole wave of comedy that came after if it wasn't for Chris Rock. He's <laughs> kicked open the doors. So for him to do that, but I wasn't allowed to say anything at that time because we were part of the committee. Right. I was supposed to punish him. And how do you punish well, him? Well, well, wait, wait. Just back up a second. <laughs> Hang on. I know Will what Smith is. is like, for me, when I met him, right, I, I always like say. Like the nicest, yes. most wonderful. He's a yeah. liar. Complete, utter fraud. Really? It was exposed in that time. Okay, we all thought in that time, oh, he was under all this pressure, though. I didn't know. Some, I it was a I've been under pressure. Moment. He does kind of seem like when he's out in public, he's putting on a bit of a facade, guys. You know what I mean? Like, like some people, of course, guys, you know, you're not going to, you know, you're not going to be around them 24-7. Like, we only see him in the movies, guys. Like, what is he really like outside of the movies? You know? We all thought in that time, oh, he was under all this pressure, though. I didn't. Oh, I've been under pressure. Moment. Oh, well, Kyle, know, Kyle's you know, been, you know, been under pressure. You've been under pressure. Interesting you say that about no, Will. No, no. Will is a, is a douchebag, and that that's something that you can't. The thing is, that's how politically correct the Academy is, right. that they were so cowardly. Because if I would have done that, they would have been hauled out to prison because like, they were so worried about being you know, racist or whatever. They were like, we can't be. The, the point is, oh, violence oh, is what it is. And what, I kind of agree with that, guys. Like, like. If he was a white guy, would he have been caught in jail? I mean, I mean, I don't know, guys. I, I don't know. It's crazy. Like, um, I hate the Academy Awards, so that's whack, man. Exactly correct. The Academy is. Again, well, Kyle's you know, been under pressure. You've been under. And it's true, guys. When he talks about like you've been under pressure, like when you're under pressure, you're going through bad situations. People in your family are dying. Whatever, really tough situations. You don't take that anger out on other people like that, guys. You internalize it, you know, and, and you deal with it yourself. Can't. The thing is, that's how politically correct the Academy is. Right. That they were so cowardly. Because if I would have done that, they would have been hauled out to prison. Because, like, they were so worried about being, you know, racist or whatever. They were like, we can't be. The, the point is, violence is what it is. And whether who, what the color of your skin or, the, your, you know, your religion doesn't sure, matter. Sure. If you commit a crime sure. in front of other people, you get hauled out of there. Yeah, but sure. didn't you also sort of think, oh, he's standing up for his missus you didn't like that it doesn't matter you can't hit another dude if you're standing up for your missus it's a joke and like i i i also thought it was a very mild joke and it was uh and that quite a slap there. though right quite a quite a slap it, i mean it was so much i mean i literally was i forget what it was because i wasn't watching it mm. i was in mexico directing a film mm. and my that uh, sounds sus yeah, <laughs> my wife wrote it. Yeah, yeah. It's called good. "The More Is the More," and it's a nice movie actually. But the um, in Spanish, in Espanol, por supuesto. And but the thing was, I was in a car, and my the the uh, my assistant director, she looked at me and she said, uh, she looked, she said, I, she said, what happened? He said, um, 
Chris Rock just got slapped by Will Smith, and I said, "Get out of here!" It didn't happen. I didn't make the phone calls, and it did happen. Wow. He didn't want to talk to anybody. I don't blame him. Yeah, I get that. That's you know, crazy. but you know, it's crazy. I remember exactly where it was. I woke up in the morning, and it was the most viewed video on YouTube. I'll never forget, guys. It's the most viewed video still to this day. News story, I think that's ever been on YouTube ever. It had like I believe it had like eight million views in like like 30 minutes or something and then it had it has now like a hundred and something views but it had like 70 million views like really quick like it was like an insane video and i couldn't believe it. i was watching it and i did a reaction to it and i was like what this is insane you know what i mean and because he's under a lot of pressure his wife is sleeping with his best friend and all this crazy rappers and this stuff bro you deal with that yourself because you get yourself out of those situations. You don't take your anger out on other people. That's crazy. But also, like, it took him a while to get to to point where he could react to it because yeah. it was a lot. It you got to process that stuff, right? Yeah. And he's a very sensitive, great guy. And he's really, literally a genius. Yeah, like, I, I agree with Tarak just got slapped. Like, what do you say there? The director, she looked at me. But the, um... <laughs> I down south. Really was I forget what it was because I wasn't. He's there, there right? quite a quite a slap. It, it, yeah, you hit him really hard. It's not like a little slap like Bradley Martin slapped that kid that took his hat off in the last day. And like I I I also thought it was a very mild. He didn't like yeah, that. I, he thought it was a mild joke. I completely agree, guys. You know, if someone disrespects your wife, like oh let's have sex, baby, or something crazy, you know, then maybe you can you can say something like hey bro, like don't be saying that shit again, or else it's gonna be you know it's gonna be on like you know. You know, put your shit up. You know, let's fight. But apart from that, guys, that's something only that's hap That's super rare. That really doesn't happen in society, guys. Like where someone insults your woman like that. And at that point, guys, you know that guy's a total dickhead anyway. So I won't even engage in that type of stuff. But like to say a harmless joke, GI Jane and this type of thing. You know, alopecia in her hair. Like it's super harmless, guys. Like the guy's on stage as a comedian. Like it's such a lame act to do that, guys. You know, it's such a lame thing, bro. But. Yeah, God bless Chris Rock, guys. We're, we're team Chris Rock over here. I love Chris Rock. Ever since Everybody Hates Chris, that show, one of the best shows on TV. You know, I, I used to watch that religiously as a kid. Amazing show. I used to love Chris Rock. Seeing Will Smith, guys, kind of exposes who he is now, you know, unfortunately. So let me know your thoughts, guys. Drop a comment down below. I'll see you all in the next one, man.